Okay, I'm a bit a little bit late. I'm Justyna Michalek. I come from Poland. I'm a Joomla contributor, front-end developer, board member of PCJ Open Open Source Foundation. Uh, I'm a Joomla contributor, Joomla Day Poland organizer, and Jack Trimiasta organizer, uh, a translator, and so on. But first of all, I'm a mother, I have two kids, and husband. And I'm a Joomla contributor in Poland. These are the contact information. Let's talk about a trend. I don't feel that I'm using technology. I don't feel that I'm wearing technology. I feel that I am technology. I would like to introduce you Neil Harbison. And he is known as a cyborg. visual condition called achromatopsia, which is total color blindness. So I've never seen color and I don't know what color looks like because I come from a grayscale world. To, to me, the, the sky is always gray, flowers are always gray, and television is still in black and white. But since the age of 21, instead of seeing color, I can hear color. Uh, in 2003, I started a project with computer scientist Adam Montandon and the result with further collaborations with Peter Keshe from Slovenia and Matthias Lizana from Barcelona is this uh, electronic eye. It's a color sensor that detects the color frequency in front of me and sends this frequency to a chip installed at the back of my head and I hear the color in front of me through the bone, through bone conduction. So for example, they have, if I have like, this is the sound of purple, for example, this is the sound of grass, this is red, like that, this is the sound of a dirty sock, like, which is like yellow, this one. So I've been hearing color all the time for eight years, since 2004, so I find it completely normal now to hear color all the time. This was Neil, <coughs> and these are some statistics. Stats, you know, 10% male and 0.5% female people colorblind in the world. Are we having a colorblind people here? None of you? It's weird according to the statistics. Net, next stats, 72 million deaf people <coughs> in the world. 10 million people with hearing loss and only 15,000 sign language translators. This is why we need some more language translators. And the solution, mm -hmm. MIGAM. Nazywam się Agnieszka Osetek, mieszkam w Warszawie, w Polsce. Jestem tłumaczką języka migowego i współzałożycielką MIGAM. Na świecie żyje 72 miliony ludzi głuchych, którzy komunikują się w zupełnie innym języku, w języku migowym. Głusi są normalnymi ludźmi. Jedyny problem, z jakim się borykają, to to, że żyją w świecie tworzonym przez ludzi słyszących i dla ludzi słyszących. Migam to zmienia. Wystarczy telefon z kamerą, jedno naciśnięcie guzika i łączymy się z tłumaczem, który pośredniczy w rozmowie między głuchym i słyszącym. Dzięki naszej usłudze osoba głucha może kupić bilet, żeby odwiedzić mamę w innym mieście. Mąż może kupić kwiaty żonie. Dziewczyna może się umówić z chłopakiem na wyjście do restauracji. Żyć normalnie. Tworzymy automatyczny tłumacz języka migowego i chcemy, aby był dostępny na każdym urządzeniu mobilnym na świecie. Wystarczy tylko nasze narzędzie, aby 
pomóc 72 milionom ludzi na świecie. To jest odpowiedni czas, mamy odpowiedni zespół, odpowiednią wiedzę, by rozwiązać globalnie problem komunikacyjny między głuchymi i słyszącymi. Jesteśmy MIGA. Wesprzyjcie nas w rozwoju naszego biznesu. And the last one I choose the job portal for people, for disabled people, but also the companies who want to acquire, who have a place in, the, in their companies to uh, have workers uh, with disabilities. This is a Latin American solution. Mi nombre es Daniel Colongo, soy uno de los cofundadores de Incluyen.com y somos un portal de empleo destinado a dar trabajo a personas con discapacidad. Si bien comenzamos en Argentina, siempre miramos a Latinoamérica y apuntamos a generar un impacto en todo el continente. En Latinoamérica, la tasa de desempleo que afecta a las personas con discapacidad es de casi el 80%. Esto significa que más de 30 millones de personas con discapacidad no tienen trabajo. En Incluyeme.com ofrecemos una solución concreta a las empresas para que puedan cubrir sus vacantes de empleo. Una vez que nos avisan de las oportunidades de trabajo que tienen, las subimos al portal junto al perfil de la empresa. Y en menos de 24 horas comienzan a recibir los primeros candidatos para seleccionar al mejor y por un sueldo justo. Desde Incluyeme.com trabajamos con dos premisas. La primera que es que toda persona que tenga una discapacidad sea evaluada por las capacidades que tiene al momento de aportar hacia una experiencia laboral de una empresa y guiarnos siempre donde la discapacidad no sea una barrera para llevar adelante su trabajo. This is it. And there is one group I wanted to talk about for a minute too. These were the deaf people, you know, these disabilities. I will repeat them later. But there is a one disability that makes us all very interested in accessibility. And these are old people, <laughs> you know. These are disabilities that old people can face. Problems with reading and understanding texts, clear he headings, good orientation and navigation and so on. And I would like to show the stats. We are around 2010, 2020 at the moment. And this is the global demographic forecast showing that these numbers are are doubled in about 30 years. So this is my table because I'm 36 at the moment. I will be 65 plus in 30 years. And the World Wide Web is not ready for me. That's why I'm interested in making it accessible. It's a very huge group of people. I come from Poland. Europe is the oldest population in the world. In 2050, we will gonna have 29%, almost 30% old people in the European Union, you know, in Europe. It's very interesting, I'm very interested, and all of us should be interested in making our content in, uh, accessible to make us ability to communicate in the future. These are the uh, problems of older people I wanted to tell you about. This is a vision decline, physical decline and cognitive decline. The problems with changing, the color perception is changing, you are, have, you are having decreasing ability to focus on near tasks. The problem with contrast sensitivity, but the physical decline is connected with keyboard using instead of mouse and the problem with small clicking area, areas here, yes. Here, yes. <laughs> and the cognitive decline connected with older people. Short term memory problems, difficulty with concentration, distraction from movement of irrelevant models, pop ups, and so on, and difficult to cope with information overload. For example, long form to fill in, it's just overloading. And one most important thing for us in European Union. At the beginning of May, after three years, the proposal was agreed and we were going to have to have accessible web accessibility in every um, 
governmental website in European Union. And this is the clue. But I wanted to ask you, in, the, in this moment, I wanted to ask you how is about the law in your countries. I know that Australia has, uh, has to be accessible in every single website. Shirat said... Same. The same. Israel is the same. Oh, Austria, at the beginning of the next year, at the beginning of 2017, it's already go ongoing. Oh, well, <laughs> what can I say? Every single website, not only uh, the governmental websites. So we know if the problem is that um, uh, citizens have to, uh, well, they're allowed to read the, the, the information for them. But if we are talking about the business, well, it's touching us, every single person of us. And that's why in Poland we have the, 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 mm, the governmental rights uh, in Poland are uh, not so tough for us. All the governmental websites have to be accessible, but the business is laid alone at the moment. But European Union program, I don't know how they're going to deal with this. And that's why uh, we wanted to make it easier in Poland. Because as a community, uh, we want to make people acquire information from the web. And besides, Joomla is very popular in Poland. And we decided to make it accessible in our country. Uh, lots of websites, governmental websites and organization units websites in Poland are uh, using uh, Joomla CMS. That's why we decided to make an effort and give them the product will, that will be accessible and that will help them to make the next step to the next level to give an information to their citizens with their governmental rights. Our project connected with the foundation I cope with, uh, called Otwarte Źródła, it's open source foundation in Poland. Our project is named Kuźnia Dostępnych Stron, but it's in Polish, so I will use KDS <coughs> name. That's it. And this is the website address of our project. All the things are, uh, all the documentation, all the products are place in there and I'm going to show you this website later but I want to give you some numbers. First of all the templates. We prepare 16 website types with six collaboration each that gave us really good number of 96 accessible templates. They are in Polish of course but they are for free for everyone. We are traveling around Poland. We choose 12 biggest countries, the uh, biggest uh, cities, and decided to work with people. We invited uh, people to seminars that there were uh, the directors of governmental units, the uh, journal administrators, content writers, and every single person who was uh, able to, who is important, uh, who is responsible for preparing accessible website was invited. There were, two, there were two sem 12 seminars and we gathered information from 365 people who decided to be our accessibility spokesmen. We couldn't have done it without them. These, were, these people were uh, trained by us during the seminars and thanks to all the documentation we prepared and then they just went to their organization units and started organizing workshops. We had 64 workshops and that's why we were able to train 974 people. We also prepared tutorials <coughs> for uh, all those who need to uh, publish accessible content because it's the main problem after publishing the website when you have to add articles and you have to do all this stuff all the time to make the accessible content because it's very easy to break your accessible website 
by not accessible concepts. Uh, at the end of the 2015, we've had almost 3,000 downloads of our accessible templates. The number of it is raising, but it's not raising very fast, you know. But I'm going to talk about it later. Digging in the internet, World Wide Web, uh, in Polish, uh, World Wide Web is uh, checking how does the websites uh, in government for governmental unit of governmental units look like. We realize that there is a very big problem with the design with the UX, and we just decided to prepare quick start demo for eight types of organization units. It was a big test for us because we are not expert. <laughs> I was, uh, I had my kids to the kindergarten, but it's not the same to, pre to make a website, accessible website for kindergarten. But we uh, were uh, consulting lots of people, gathering information, and we prepared a demo for every of these eight types. These are municipal council, school, municipal services, NGO, community center, public library, public kindergarten, and social welfare center. These eight types of websites. You can just download, install, to, you can just uh, tick what many positions you need, what uh, uh, articles you need or you don't need, just to turn it off or turn it on on the back end, Pub, uh, add your own uh, information and it's the accessible website. We just tried to do it as simple as it can be. And one more thing, we prepared Joomla component called BibGov article and I hope you will gonna like it because it faces all the rules that we have in Polish law uh, about accessible content. Uh, we just use the base, uh, we just use the core Joomla article component and we expanded it uh, using these uh, rules of our government. And these are, um, these are the new features. Version history view, we can attach documents to the articles very fast, just by clicking and choosing it at the back end. You can show extended metada metadata on the front, and information metrics, and activity monitor. It's a, mm, it's a situation where you can check quickly on the front end, just you, you, you are a citizen and you're interested in uh, a job, for example, and you can see what are the changes in the article, who made the change, and when was it done. Is that, it, this is how it works. Mm, and this is the team. This is the demo of uh, link to the demo of our website. I would like to show you some package, packages. You just oh. Mm -hmm. just, it's just a typical demo, you know. You can choose the template you wish. BIP is the type of law? BIP is the public information uh, bulletin. It's the main uh, thing that has to be published on the governmental website. They just need BIP, nothing else. But they do everything <laughs> against it. <laughs> This is the kindergarten, for example. I will show you the BIP and how that component works, okay? <coughs> you can, um, maybe I should use a keyboard to show you how to move around. 
and it, we will talk about the uh, active, all the extensions <coughs> I, I've made, we've made during the project because there's something interesting for you maybe. But I will move not through the demo because it might not work very well. It's a demo website, but you can just check how the tabulation works. Look at this. This is the main hidden menu, menu that you can jump in the, in the, into the part uh, you need. <laughs> this is the uh, situation where somebody is clicking by, uh, only using keyboard and he, he wants to get to the <coughs> content, not clicking around all this uh, menu. There are two menus. The, the top one with the contrast and <coughs> uh, big, uh, you know, the big letters and so on. Moving this way and this way. And if you click tab, you just see move to many. That means this many. Move to the main content, I just click and show you, this is the main content, or move to the additional part. And this is the, uh, it's not here, on, the web, on this website you have no additional content, it's the um, right, uh, the, the things on the right, you know, the, uh, the sidebar. sidebar, yes, thank you. <laughs> You can choose the whole <coughs> version here, and let's get to the content. This is how it works. The indicator is shown. Where are we? <coughs> we can jump in every... Oh, what is that? It's not working. Oh, no more articles, you know. But you can get uh, where you want, right? I'm going back to my presentation. <coughs> Sorry. I wanted to I wanted to introduce you the group of people who organize this stuff. These are the people who are very very uh, interested in volunteering in Joomla for in, Poland, in Polish community. There are not only the business, but also the uh, contribution for Joomla. This is Stefan Pajda, Michał Trzepizur, Sebastian Dajnowiec, Anna Dederska, Sławomir Pieszczek, and Joomla Monster. I think that I owe them, because it was a big deal for us, and for Joomla, of course. The main thing I wanted to tell you is that we are open to increase the, uh, the group of people using this stuff. There's a lot of documentation, there are lots of uh, tricks and tips and uh, tutorials. There are easy tutorials how to prepare the table, accessible table, it's something other, how to uh, throw your articles to the archive Lots of stuff very useful for people who are going to prepare accessible content. Just as I said, the first step is to prepare the accessible template. And then you just give it away and the content writer, he has to deal with the accessibility rules. The accessibility is in Polish or English? Ah, right. Of course it's in Polish. I wouldn't need you if it was in English. <laughs> yes, it's in Polish, but first of all, it's, it's the license is free. You can use it as, as a whatever, whatever you want. So I would like to invite you all to spread this. Uh, looking the at version. that slide with the numbers. To spread the Polish version? No, to translate it and spread it. <laughs> the po uh, you don't need the Polish version, I guess. Oh, maybe. Just take it. You can just download it. Uh, speaking about the numbers, you know, uh, the work we've done was very, very big. The reaction 
was very nice. People were very happy. Those 12 uh, um, seminars, it was a very nice time with people who were saying, oh my God, great, I'm gonna use it. And then not much happened. Not many things happened because I think that 3,000 downloads during uh, almost four months, because uh, these are the data at the end of 2025, uh, 2012, uh, 15, sorry. And uh, I, was, uh, I was thinking that it would be the something huge. But people are afraid of accessibility. I'm so glad I, I can see you all here. I was afraid it would be maybe five or four people. Accessibility is important. It's not, it's not so difficult, you know. Let's make little steps. Like, le let's add alts. Let's add the plugin. Uh, Shirat uh, showed me a very good plugin who can work not only on Joomla, and it gives you not only the contrast versions, not only letters, bigger, lo lower letters, but also something new for me. Uh, I've been to the uh, accessibility for four months every day, every single day, and I haven't seen it. It shows you, it helps you with the indication where are you, uh, look, it, uh, digging through the keyboard, uh, using the keyboard, you know, and without the mouse. You can just click, tap, 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 and you can see that uh, this template doesn't uh, show the indicator. You just click it on this uh, plugin, and it works. You can see it. So it makes some web pages that are not accessible at all a bit more accessible. It's just plugin installation, not a big deal. But we first we have to know what, who are we going, who are we working for. It means where, of course. You just you don't have to uh, fill the alt for any of us. But if you do this you will going to gather more people involved in, in, in the content you publish. So, little steps. Uh, some important tips at the end, because uh, lots of people asked me if I will show you some tips. It's too uh, it's, it isn't too much time to dig in some little thing, but I would like to share the information. <coughs> and it's chopped in three areas. <laughs> Text, links and media. Text tips. Remember about contrast. You can just install the little plugin for browser. For, for Chrome, is, uh, it's called... i show you that. Mm. Wait, have you seen it? I thought it was WordPress. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't work here. It's simple. You can see everything. Everything is explained. The contrast tab is showing you where is the low contrast and so on. How should it be? Which rule is failed? Everything is written here. Okay. Wait a minute. Where is my presentation? Uh -huh. oh. So the contrast, the true text. Remember that <laughs> enlarge is better, load faster, and it's easier to translate. So we use CSS instead of editor. And the caps are difficult to read for some screen readers. Font size, it's usually a minimum 10 points, and line length, it's too long, is not readable. The second group of tips with links, they should be recognizable. I was talking about it, uh, at the, uh, about the indicator, but it's also the link when you, it's light gray, on the white uh, background, nobody can see it, almost nobody. But you, we are not disabled, we can just look for it or read it. But peop disabled people with the, uh, who, are, uh, who are 
a bit less uh, cognitive. Uh, well, though, forget about it. They can just have a problem with it, and it's not a problem for you. It's just CSS. And link, link focus indicators. I was showing you this, and design designing a skip to main content. I showed you this, and the making sense of link text is a. It's really it's a core Joomla. You can just add little uh, few words from the article to the link. It's easy to use and it helps people who are having hearing loss and using, for example, <coughs> the screen reader. They just know what is much uh, more continue. What does it mean for them? It doesn't mean nothing. And the media. You shouldn't forget about play pause button, using video and the captions, you know. You shouldn't rely on color alone. Remember, Niels, and all those people who are having who are colorblind, the color is not enough for them. If you are using a color to indicate something, they won't be able to acquire this information. And design accessible form controls. This is a big deal, you know. Form com accessible form is a big deal. <coughs> And I would like to tell you that you have to gather lots of information to make it accessible. It's not only the thing that you should uh, using you should uh, move uh, around it using a keyboard, but also know uh, let the screen reader to read what type of button it is, if I should thick it or choose from the list, and so on. So forms are very important. And then the last slide, I wanted to re recall what uh, Shirat said. Planning is most important. If you plan your work, you won't work so much. Building will be easier when you know who are you facing, what disabilities are you facing, what are you going to, uh, what problems are you going to solve for people, and then maintaining. Just feel free to translate our documentation and use it. It's a really huge amount of work you just can use. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was very hard for me. Uh, you know, my English is not perfect. But I would like to answer your questions. information about people who are uh, having color blindness so they can see some cards some some combination of colors are the same for them this is like ah, between violet and yes so okay. there are lots of sorts of color uh, blind color blindness types of color blindness you know uh, the most typical problem is that green and blue is the pro green and red? Sorry, yes. And uh, one of them is the spectrum around these colors. It's just dangerous, you know, when you use it, and you can use the, when you give the background and the colored uh, text on it, and it will be only the image, the screen reader won't read, won't read it, and the super big slider on the top will, won't be accessible for very huge people, very, very huge amount of people. This is what I wanted to tell you. But you can use images and colors and then use the spectrum, just make sure Alternative that it's text. not the only thing, that you have either text or you have other indications that will explain what's there. So That's right. That's why not only, don't, don't write only on it. I'm going to ask my question from the previous session. So you plan and build and maintain this beautiful accessible website and then you to start writing content with the HTML and text. So how do you deal with that? Because then the website is not fully accessible anymore. 
Uh, you mean the people who are I'm giving the website to? Yeah, they are going to write their content. And yes. And that and videos and that's why we were so uh, aware of it, and that's why we just prepared those people who are uh, teaching people, other people, how to make accessible content. Because I cannot do this. Me, Stefan, Michal, and. Uh, Sebastian, we are only four people, and that's why we just started acquiring other people to. to make those people aware of what they're actually writing. Yes, so they are they are just trained. That's what the tutorials are for. Yes, so and basically, well, we are tutorials for. English, and then for English to every other language no, we have. For example, uh, the place where we have our YouTube group is a little uh, restaurant kind of thing. They write their own content. So yes, of course. So if you give them the website, they need to be taught. Right, so they have the tutorials. So if we'll translate the tutorials from Polish to English, then you have the information you give to them. Uh, showing you the place where is those uh, information <coughs> won't be give you any information <coughs> because it's all in Polish. But you have to know that there are almost over 100 documents. Uh, based on the accessible, acce uh, accessible uh, content. So they are showing you how to prepare accessible content. Yes, product was first. Okay. Um, I see you gained a lot of knowledge there and you did a that's really awesome job and thank you very much for it. The question is, is there a way we can bring it back to the Joomla project somehow? Like, uh, I was waiting for that question. Okay. So, <laughs> that's my question. Yes, of course. This is the contribution for Joomla community, yes? Yeah. Yes, we would be very glad to share this information. Okay. Thank you. Yes. You think it should be interesting to continue your very good job that you've done there, to have a kind of a tag on the jet to say this extension is at a certain level, compatible with... Uh, I was with too nervous to say that, but I'm, I'm very happy that there is raising and raising a list of accessible extensions on the JET. There is a, a tag accessible, there is? yes, oh, and uh, for uh, last few years there were only seven extensions, and two weeks ago I checked it, and it's all over 20, <laughs> it's over 20 now, it's a good progress, I w well, we would like to add our extension to this, and I think that it's it will be increasing the la the list. And are they really accessible? Uh, I've been checking them. Yes, okay. more or less. Uh, some of them are not updated. It's obvious. It's typical for extensions, you know. Some of them are cared of. The other are just let down. So uh, those who are uh, updated to Joomla 3.5 are accessible and I have to tell you that the problem of extension is very big of course you prepare the template we were preparing the templates yes we found four or five extensions accessible and we they are all for free because the project uh, aim was to give you the free uh, <coughs> templates free quick with the quick, quick start is almost also using the free extensions and the problem is where when you install your website and you add your own extension, you need something like this or something like this, and pushing the button to contrast this result. But there are some extensions uh, um, developers who are very open-minded to make their extension accessible. And the extensions we used uh, in our quick start I, uh, are, I should have listed them, you can watch them. Uh, all the developers were in contact with us and it was a very nice, a smooth conversation. We just made some progress to their extensions. They were very glad and they were working very fast. So I would like to thank them. It's, I can see that accessibility in the developers <coughs> team of, of Joomla uh, is important. Everybody knows it's important. Any other questions? So we're going to find all this. You told us about the plugin. Uh, oh, that's my, my not so I would like to, so I would love to hear from Shirat, where is this plugin? It's <laughs> really great. So, so, so will you be so, so kind? Okay, no so, sure. so, so in a perfect world, 
there would be a plugin that you would just like uh, put it in and it will do all of that and that would be perfect. But uh, so I'm working with a guy named uh, Tuvia Sheinfeld in, in Israel and he developed uh, so, so it's not a plugin that you, you know you just put in, but it's it's a, I don't know a software or something that does it. But right now it's not a, it's not an automated plugin. So he has to install it on each and every website and and, uh, and, <laughs> and configure it so it will work on each and every website. So uh, uh, that could be useful if people want to contact him and work with him, but it's not going to be, I mean, he can't manage all websites in the world. So he's working on um, a Joomla plugin and a WordPress plugin and et cetera, et cetera. And if there are people who are interested in uh, helping uh, do that, then they can contact me, which can, like, we'll contact them with Tuvia, and uh, we'll try to, to do something for the, pro for the project. What's his name? Tuvia. I will write it down. T O O Y. <laughs> T O O Y A. Uh, B A. Like this? Uh, y A. Not I. Y. Tuvia. <laughs> y A. Y A. Y. 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 Sorry. <laughs> like this? Yes. Second. That's Tuvia. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think that the best. Okay. Way It's a great uh, extension. It's a great plugin. I've been testing. Let's say that it's a very good start, and uh, if we can get things going, and I think that's my session and uh, <laughs> yes. Christina, we were talking about it. If we can just raise awareness and start getting things done, yes. accessible, accessibility curves. Yes. <laughs>